good C tribe Tiana C. Yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. So first of all, I just want to let y'all know how dedicated I am to this channel. I appreciate all the support I've been getting so far, and I'm here in a room in my grandmother's house right now because I'm visiting her in California, as well as you know trying to do my hot girl shit. But I'm here in a room in my grandma's house recording these videos because I really enjoy making these videos for y'all and I really enjoy the support I've been getting so far so I had to squeeze this video out without further ado because y'all know I hate auto talking y'all know I like to get straight into it let's get into the video we talking about Leslie Ines she says her last response with receipts let's see what kind of receipts sis got I tried to do a reaction to Queen's side of the story and I found myself not not interested in what she had to say but I feel like everything is redundant at this point and like I lost my mojo to even talk about it anymore because I feel like I addressed it enough and I feel like at this point it would just so what you here for if you addressed it enough for real for real me defending my emotions here I am feeling that exact way like I have to do and maybe I should uh, address this a long time ago probably right yes. after I did that reaction video because I know I knew people were gonna misconstrue my emotions and misinterpret my me crying and you know what combats misconstruction is that a word I made this shit up you know what combats that Having the facts, having receipts, and having a solid story going from, hey, let me tell you how we really met. Let me tell you how our relationship really went. And let me tell you how I really feel. You didn't do none of that. If she would have just came out and just said it like in a nice, chronolo a nice chronological order, a nice solid foundation, something well thought out, and saying, hey, let me just get my story out the proper way, we wouldn't be in this situation. The truth is, guys, I did respond to that book. And it wasn't for Clarence, nor was it about him. It was about me because the book was talking about me and it was tarnishing my name. Yes, I loved Clarence. Fair. And that's known. Like, I've never hit that. But that chapter in my life is closed. Like, thanks to the book. It's been three years now and I've grown to be the woman that I am today because of that. Like, Yes, I am old. What kind of woman is that? Because what we're seeing is not what you're saying. Things ain't adding up. A situation. It's not all about Clarence. It's not all about do I want him or I want him back or anything like that. It's, the truth is I had to relive that moment just for 30, 30 minutes. And yeah, I got emotional and, and I was crying, but my tears aren't for Clarence. They aren't about you. They're about my true feelings of my story. Like, they, I wasn't sugarcoating it or anything like that. That's just how I expressed it. And it's in human nature for me to respond the way I want to respond because I am who I am. And I won't change for nobody. And the truth is, I don't owe anybody an explanation. I don't owe... You don't owe us one. But you promised this one, and did you deliver? Body, my story, and I don't have to share that with nobody. I didn't even think that. I didn't think that it would. Why is she talking like we asked her to come speak on her name? Why is she talking to us like that? Saying I don't owe nobody nothing. We didn't call for you. We didn't send for you. You sent yourself. Go this far. But it like took me on this course. Like I didn't know that it will get like this. I swear, I didn't even think that I was gonna be on YouTube crying and everybody sees me weak and emotional. I didn't think any of that. And I didn't think twice about it to post or anything that because it is the truth. It is what I felt at that moment. A lot of people are judging me and saying leave them alone they have a whole family now and whatever the case may be but i left them alone three years ago my fault for taking him off the hook and you know putting my focus on elsewhere but it is true at the end of the day 
if someone is for you they will be for you and no one can take that away no one can no one can take that person away from you i'm glad we the internet taught you that and i'd be damned if i go ahead and blame a person's actions on others because ultimately it's the person you're with who you're supposed to respect and represent you know as your woman if the love is generally true and I know that I got very emotional in my last video and I probably said things that I shouldn't have said and I should have just kept them to myself and for that I sincerely apologize some things just doesn't have to be said out to the public please try to understand that I put myself in that moment again I I relive that moment again and I didn't appreciate how Clarence was talking about me as if I didn't invest five years in him as if we didn't have good times together and made it made it made it out to seem that our relationship was total toxic when that wasn't the case Clarence never threw you under the bus we the internet threw you under the bus Clarence did not dish you Clarence really spoke very neutral of you he didn't really like bash you or lift you up for real for real so like Clarence didn't do any of that. He didn't do that until she came out and she took it like that. So, again, such a victim. <laughs> that was, that's what the anger came from. The anger came from that. The anger came from uh, my business being out there to the world. Like, that's still weighing on me. Like, I didn't appreciate that at all. And like I said, I didn't know that all of this, a book was going to do this. <laughs> like I didn't think a book was gonna do this to me. I didn't think that I would respond the way that I responded. I was just acting off my true feelings and my true emotions. And I said what I said, some things I shouldn't have said, but that's how I felt at that time. And if you guys don't understand it and if you still don't get it, it is what it is. I don't have to prove to you guys that I don't want him and I'm over him. I don't have to do none of that neither. You guys could think whatever you want. Like, him and I know our story. And I'm pretty sure he knows that I've moved on. And I've never tried to get my relationship back with him. Like, I've never tried to do any of that. Never? Um, I will say this. I knew that our relationship was pretty much done. When all the videos were coming out, like, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to hold on to, oh, my God, they, they're making videos. Um, um, I still have a chance. Why is she telling a whole new story? Out. There's still a chance that I'm going to be there, whatever. That that wasn't the case. Like, I already knew my relationship with Clarence was done. That that was going to take its course, too. I knew where that was headed. In any case, we we were still, I don't, I don't want to say we were cool, but we just, we just kept our communication. I remember when he was trying to help me out with doing YouTube and he was giving me advice and stuff like that. Um, and that was around the time that they were together. I want to say this was July. See, he was trying to push you, but you wasn't about that life. Proving that, hey, where I'm at is where I need to stay glued. Okay. January, in my opinion. July. July. It was in July that he was trying to help me out with my YouTube. Right after, that's when I found out the news that she was having a baby. So it's only, like, it's human nature for me to respond the way I responded because that is how I felt at that moment. Right now, I don't feel that way, guys. I, I'm not pissed off that they're together and they have a family and they're happy now. That is not me. I'm actually happy for him. I'm over that. That chapter is closed in my life. And I've moved on, you guys. I've took this relationship as learning experiences for me. That's another reason why I I probably got very emotional because not only did I have to relive that moment, but I hold that experience with my ex um, very serious because and within those five years of my relationship, I learned so many things. I've learned so many lessons. Like life has definitely taught me so many things and for that I've, I will forever cherish it when someone shows me the slightest sign of what I went through with Clarence or anything that he did to me I cut that person off real quick I'm able to move that 
it's not a sign of hey i have matured i have moved on i have grown that's actually the exact opposite that's a sign of i'm still mentally scarred because if i see one little thing i'm gonna leave because that's my coping mechanism my coping mechanism told me to flee told me to like just go ahead and dip without communicating i said that in my last video but that ain't healthy that's very unhealthy i hope she sees this on and not look back like i always think to myself if i got over him there's no way that i can't get over you and that's the truth God. Why she keep putting Clarence on this pedestal still? Talking about something she's over him, not coming back, and like she made peace with it. No. You are still putting Clarence on a pedestal. Clarence, it's just motherfucking Clarence NYC. You had Jeremiah at your neck. Why is you still putting Clarence on that pedestal? She had a boxer that was just as fine. And like I said before, in some ways finer. Why is she acting like that? What did Clarence do to her? That's just five years. You know how many years we, we are alive in this world? A lot of people make this as age 70, age 90. Five years compared to that really don't mean much. Five years of turbulence really won't compare to like one year of just like glory. One year of just a great time and, and like just being with your soulmate. I digress. That's how I move now. So for people to say, um, you still on him, you still want him, you're not over him, yada, 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 just because I'm not emotional, you guys are misinterpreting my feelings and my emotions in that video. But I'm not going to explain myself anymore. And I hope that, I hope that this is the end of it all because I don't want to talk about that story no more. People want to believe what they want to believe and they want to judge me and whatever the case may be. To each his own. You guys didn't live my story. You guys don't know what it feels like. And that's the bottom line. Thank you for your messages, for encouraging me, and for your prayers. Because I've read those messages. I've even screenshotted some of them and saved them to my phone so I can look at them whenever I'm feeling down, you know? That's good for everybody her. Everybody get those moments. Like today is one gloomy ass day. And it's the time of the month. So I am in my bag. Not in, a, in my bag like I'm in my feelings and I'm hurt. And you know, like it's not that. Like I'm just. You said it right. You in your bag because it's YouTube check. She done ran it up. She was not active on YouTube at all. She done like quadrupled her following she also done quadrupled her views she in her bag she in her bag off all this drama that she done stirred up you said it right sis i'm reading the comments and the messages i'm just like yo people are they just don't get it and they're never gonna get it but it's just it's just absurd to me how people misinterpret things and maybe it's because how i came off and stuff but whatever it is, what it is i don't want to talk about my past the shit is done i it's been three years later and yes it's made me who i am today and it sucks that i have to relive that moment again and it sucks that i have to talk about it again i like put that that relationship in a deep 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 hole in the ground and i didn't think that it would resurface and i didn't think that i would have to ever talk about it again you live and you learn and that's in my Instagram bio, by the way, because it's true. You live and you learn. You don't, I'm not going to hold on to things for the rest of my life. I still love him. I still want to be him. I still have a chance. Guys, I'm older now. Like, I am not young. Prove it. I'm older. I'm wise. Like, I'm not stupid. I'm not hung, hung up on somebody that has a family. I am not. You guys don't want to understand me because you guys are stuck on today and I get it. But... When people try to diminish me and, and discredit my story, I am going to respond the way I respond, and there's no sugarcoating it. With that being said, I just want to thank all of my supporters for your messages. I really appreciate that. I, I read the positive messages. The negative stuff, I try to stay away from it. Be ready for my next videos, you know? Get to know me some more and get to know the woman that I am today, three years later, okay? Um, just drop down some questions below 
And also, comment what other content you'd like to see from me. I know I'm definitely going to share some story times. And I know I'm definitely going to put, like, some workouts in there. It's like I have a passion for fitness. That is one of the major things in my life that has helped me overcome a lot of things. That's me. And I was like, yo, um, what you said? I, I was basically telling him about what he said in the video. Like, that was that was funny. Like, Frank Red, Frank Red High. Oh, I'm not sweet. He, you know, like, just kind of, I don't know, picking at him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, if he's doing a smash pass on a bunch of girls. I did. Um, I, I just refused to do another video on it, but my point exactly just you could tell how i was moving and what i was doing that you could tell that i was single i don't want to throw other people's relationships queen september 8th because i'm breaking down for y'all september 8th him and queen was just talking about freaking shirts and hoodies that's it what she's talking about right here nothing this is still around the time he said, like, yeah, I do got a girl. Did you say you were going to smash? I don't know if I would put it out. October, the man was single. November, this man was blocked by Queen. Thank you, guys. December 8th, around his birthday, again. I think Queen was back around this time, but Queen was back around as like a friend slash whatever. But apparently, from the timeline that I've seen from everybody else, Queen and him didn't start making videos till around like late January, around and then to up to uh, Valentine's Day. So that December 8th makes sense. Queen also already mentioned in her videos that he, she knew that he was still getting over his ex. She knew that it was other girls involved. She just was happy to have a friend and somebody to talk to. So Leslie, you proved nothing with these receipts. And these are the weakest receipts I've ever seen in my life. But it was the, the most brilliant and, and proper clickbait that you could ever have. So kudos to you for like really catching on to how YouTubers be clickbaiting. So you know you might you might be prosperous in the future. Keep on like keeping up with the theme of things. But I already knew it was about the it was about her chasing clout. We all already knew this. I mean, some of y'all it took y'all a long time to jump onto the train, but you finally got here. But yes, she wrote the book. Or she had somebody around her write the book. She capitalized on it because she wanted to be a YouTuber. She's trying to change her money. Trying to like get into her bag. She stirred up some drama. Entertained the drama. And now she has the proper following to make it pretty decent on YouTube right now. Because she has 7K when we started this. 7K. I don't know how YouTube works. I am not monetized. That's why I get to cuss and play music and do what I want. And it's fun here. But she now has the following to make some decent serious cash especially because she has a series going on with her drama so she done capitalized on hella videos i'm gonna say sis is brilliant ain't really much to say except for i mean she's back to her first personality which is the sweet the innocent the hey i didn't mean no harm she's like really like a baby hulk like a I came on here, I started all this shit, this emotional drama, and now I'm back to my, my first self. Like, I don't know who that person was. That wasn't me, that was Hulk. Like, that's how I'm seeing this, but do your workout videos. I'm interested to see what you, what you gotta say. I mean, if they're nice videos, I might take some of your advice. But, I mean, if they not, I mean, they, they, they just not. I mean, good content is good content. I don't dislike her. I don't think... I'm in a position to dislike her. I'm just going off what she said. I'm just like reading the facts and speaking speaking the facts as if. I don't got no like bad blood against her. So, sis, come hard with the workout videos. Do your thing. Get in your bag. Because I definitely, unfortunately, gave you some views. So, shoot, enjoy your money. Hope I get to enjoy my money uh, too soon. I mean, when that time comes. But I wish her the best. I wish her happy, true healing. Because right now she's just escaping using bad coping mechanisms but I'm, i wish her healing and i'm glad hopefully this saga is over but this shit definitely was entertaining and that's all i gotta say on that <laughs>